Hey, bass family, welcome back. Today we're looking at 10 jazz fusion bass solos that just like blew my mind. We're gonna run through them in no particular order. All right, here we go. Number 10, Victor Wooten's bass solo on the Sinister Minister with Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones. Here's a clip from the Jacksonville Jazz Festival. Number nine, Jimmy Haslip solo on Downtown by the Yellow Jackets. This is off of their Live Wires album. Just the phrasing, his fretless intonation is amazing. Uh, the sound, he's got this stereo chorus effect. I love everything about this. All right, number eight, John Patitucci solo on Gotta Match with the Chicory Electric Band. Check out this live clip. Number seven, Oteil Burbridge on Basically Frightened with Colonel Bruce Hampton in the Aquarium Rescue Unit. Here's Oteil scouting along with his bass like George Benson. Talk about knowing how to end a solo. Number six, Stanley Clark on Silly Putty from his live 1976-77 album. His alembic sounds unreal on this, and you can just hear how much fun he's having playing with his friends. Number five, this is Jeff Berlin's solo on Joe Frazier Part Two, originally off the Pump It album. Also, you can find it on the Crossroads album. <laughs> Garrison's playing on Family from his first solo album. Honestly, when I first heard this, I would not let any of my other musician friends, especially like guitarists or people who weren't bassists, hear it. I was worried they would expect me to be able to somehow play like that, and I just could not wrap my head around that kind of speed. <laughs> Number three, check out Tom Kennedy's straight up burning bebop solo on Rhythming live with Dave Weckl. <laughs> Number two, 
the master, Gary Wellis. This is playing on Say Never. This is off of his actual fiction album. There's a static set of changes and the melodic idea develops throughout the entire song with increasing intensity, but always pulling through those same concepts. I mean, this is how you build in a song. Before we get to number one, I've got a couple of honorable mentions. Here's a 1982 clip of Elaine Karam playing with Uzeb. Check out his masterful fretless work on Penny Arcade. <laughs> And you've also got to check out Kayak Art's work on Tachyonics with Garage Mahal. This is on their More Mr. Nice Guy album. Uh, one of the awesome things about this is, you know, this is around 2010, and this is a time when just um, all of the fusion bass players are like, you know, leaning hard into Federa's custom basses, six strings, you know, high C's, all that kind of work. And Kai's like, nope, I'm going to do this on a four string P bass. And I just love that, you know, he was sticking to his sonic vision and it's great. <laughs> Number one, last but not least, is the late, great Jeff Andrews playing here with Mike Stern. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to gently touch subscribe and leave comments below with the bass clips you find amazing. All right, thanks. Take it easy.